my lovely friends my name is Anna welcome back to my kitchen and today we're making fried raviolis these are perfect for game night they're such a delicious appetizer and so easy to make so let me show you what you're gonna need so we can go ahead and get started the first thing you're gonna need is some all-purpose flour you're gonna need an egg beaten with some milk and you're gonna need some breadcrumbs these are plain bread uh, breadcrumbs but you can use Italian since mine are plain, I am going to use a little bit of Italian seasoning. You're also going to need your fried raviolis that have been slightly thawed, or you can just get um, like regular like refrigerated ravioli, but these are cheaper and it brings more, and you can just thaw them out, and it's going to be just as good. A little bit of parm, a little bit of parsley. You're going to need some salt and pepper, and that is pretty much it. So the first thing I'm going to do is season my uh, flour and my egg mixture, and my breadcrumbs with a little bit of salt. You wanna season all three steps because we have to obviously bread, the, bread them. And over here, I have a high side skillet with plenty of oil. You can either fry these or you can make them in the air fryer. In my written recipe, you will have the option for both. Um, you will have the instructions for both. If you wanna sometimes air fry them or if you wanna fry them with oil, that is up to you. So I am going to add my, pretty much all of my Italian seasoning into the breadcrumbs and just mix that in. And I'm also going to mix in the flour. So now my oil is preheating to about 350. You don't want it to be too, too hot because then your ravioli is going to burn before they really get a chance to fully cook and this is so simple just trust me you're gonna grab your ravioli and you're gonna dip it in the flour just like so pass it through the egg milk mixture and you are going to dip them in the breadcrumbs just make sure they're nicely coated beautiful and you're gonna have your see make sure it's perfectly coated here we go and you're gonna end up with something that looks like this now I have a bacon sheet here and I'm gonna start placing them and I also have a plate lined with some parchment paper ready to go because once we start frying these you want to place them on the uh, paper towel lined bacon sheet so I'm gonna continue with the rest of my raviolis and I'll be right back once I'm all done my oil is at exactly 350, so I'm gonna go ahead and start placing my raviolis in. And these are going to cook for about three to four minutes until they are slightly golden and crispy. Just wanna make sure you're very careful when you put it in. And you also want to work in batches. You don't wanna overcrowd your oil because then it's not going to cook properly. My ravioli is cooked for four minutes. As you can see, they're golden brown and a crispy perfection. You want to grab them with a slotted spatula so that way you leave all the oil behind and transfer them onto your paper towel lined plate. As soon as they come out, go ahead and hit them with a little bit of salt. That way you make sure they're extra flavorful, although otherwise they're going to be a little bland so just a little bit of salt and then we place the other ones in this is my last batch oops we got one down there we go now like all the other ones let's finish it with a little bit of salt and I'm also going to add a little bit of freshly grated parm all over the top for some extra goodness just like so a little bit of parsley and there you have it your very own restaurant style fried ravioli that are absolutely delicious and very simple they're crunchy flavorful delicious serve this with your favorite marinara sauce and you will have a hit in your hands. I'm not even kidding when I say that I can probably have this whole plate over myself because they are that delicious. 
If you guys enjoyed this recipe, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.